somebody was uh, sharing with me about uh, what happened to this young man. This young man was a, a popular football player in high school and really had an, uh, an opportunity to uh, go to a, you know, a, a university and then also would get an opportunity to go to play in a um, professional football league. But what happened is that this young person had a stroke. And because of that, half of his body is paralyzed right, right now. And because of that, he could no longer play football. Okay? And you could see the, the missed opportunity of, of, of this person, right? Because if he's healthy, he could play in the professional league in the future. But because of his paralysis, he could no longer do that. And in our gospel today, we saw also this man. We don't know about his background, but he's paralyzed, bedridden. Maybe he was very healthy before. Okay? He could do a lot of good works. Okay? And uh, because of his paralysis, he could no longer do that. Maybe he could also no longer go to, to, the, to, to the synagogue. Because at that time, when, when you have a, a disease or paralysis, people think that you have a, a grave sin. And God is punishing you. And because of that, you're considered unclean. So many things, right? That this person couldn't do anymore because of his paralysis. And sometimes when, when we read this, this story, sometimes we couldn't really connect because we're healthy. We could do what we want to do. And yet, we forget at times that sin could paralyze us. Okay? Sin could paralyze us. Because sin, whenever we sin, we separate ourselves from God. And something in us dies. Something in us gets paralyzed. Okay? What are the things that could paralyze us? Of course, you know, fear, resentment. Addictions could paralyze us. We're not able to do what God is calling us to do. Because when, when, when we're living in sin, we're, we're full of ourselves. Remember what's the middle of all sin? It's an I. <laughs> if you spell sin, S-I-N, the middle of that is I. Okay? That's why we can't do what God is asking us to do. It paralyzes us. Uh, Jesus uh, told this par uh, paralyzed man, take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. And because of that, he was able to, when Jesus asked him, stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. And he was able to do what he used to do. Work, go to the, go to the synagogue. The, par the paralysis got healed. And that's what we need to do every day. We have to, to look into ourselves. What is paralyzing us? We need to always turn to Jesus to ask for forgiveness, especially for sins, right? But not just asking for forgiveness, but living, striving to live a righteous life. Because our, our life here on earth, it's a process of transformation, a process of sanctification, and also this, co this term deification, becoming more and more like God. And when we, come, when we become more and more like God, we're able to do what He wants us to do. And sometimes we couldn't imagine that because for so long, we're living in paralysis. We couldn't imagine what a life without paralysis is. That's why, you know, we need to ask for that grace. We need to, because we, we couldn't imagine it. But I tell you, the Lord will show it to you what you could do. What you could do for God's kingdom here on earth. 